It's been around for years with many touting its anti-inflammatory benefits. Actor Gerard Butler is apparently a B-lever in these benefits because he <laughs> says or reports that he injected himself with B venom to ease muscle pain. There was an unexpected twist here, which is he ended up in the hospital not once, but twice. That's got to sting, Gerard. But, but get this, the reason why, so he was going in for, I guess, muscle pain, but people who are advocates say that this bee sting treatment can treat things like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, skin lesions, even chronic hives. Um, he had developed a muscle strain working 12 hour days. But what's interesting is when he got the first treatment, Apparently he went with 10 shots total and entered, again, some reports say anaphylactic shock. Wow. Or at minimum had a severe allergic reaction of some kind. Found out they gave him 10 times too much, so he's like, you know what, they gave me too much, let, let me go do it again. But the second time it happened again, he ended up in the hospital, Gerard, so. Gerard, what are you Gerard. thinking? <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a big Gerard Butler fan, he's a stud. But to your point, the fact that he got it once, had a reaction, and then gave it back, you're more likely to have a worse it's reaction. True. Yeah. Mm. Because you have hypersensitized your immune system. He could have died. Apparently, because when people read the claims, it sounds amazing. It helps over 20 different problems. But when you actually look at the research, most of it doesn't have any real scientific backing. You know, there's like little sample sizes, no placebo. I mean, they're I mean, not good and, studies. And we're, we're, we're always all about alternative therapies here. Yeah. Whatever works for you, if it, if it happens to be, be venom, if it's done correctly, okay. Most likely it's a placebo effect yeah. in my mind, but if it helps, but they're much, much better, safer things. Are actually, I, I can appreciate why people believe this may have a benefit. We know honey, which obviously comes from bees. Mm -hmm. it, we now have honey impregnated dressings mm -hmm. in wound care. So there are a lot of great properties that come from bees, incidentally. That's why I got to give a shout out to our bee population out there, which is dwindling mm -hmm. at rates never before give seen. Give for bees. Give no, they, they, they look, bees. bees are what make the world go round. Like we don't bees. love bee sting. And, and I can't believe that some of the practitioners actually put a, a bee on your skin and let them sting you directly instead of injecting the venom. So it doesn't even sound like a pleasant treatment. Well, the people who do that, it does, it, that's, you're a glutton for punishment what? because anyone here who's been stung, it's not a pleasant sensation. No. Mainly because you don't know when it's gonna sting you. Yes, yeah. You know, it's chasing you around, it's crawling up your arm and you're kind of waiting for it to happen. You're like, ah! This is bringing back flashbacks. I remember a show where you guys put a blindfold over me, made me put my hand in with scorpions. Remember that? You did that? Yes. Why am I still here? <laughs> you did, I can't believe you did that. Hey, big takeaway here with these alternative treatments is we are big believers on this show of alternative treatments that are effective and safe. Just make sure if you're going to try an alternative treatment that number one, you're not getting ripped off, and number two, that it's safe.